about the opioid at this point. We're going to talk a lot about the clinical importance of the, all of the strap muscles with regards to hyoid mobility. The uh, reason being is if you find when you're especially treating temporary regulatory conditions, you're going to want to assess the hyoid motion. And if hyoid motion is restricted in one direction or the other, it can mean a few things. It could mean overactivity of one of the digastric muscles, or the muscles opening the jaw. Um, or it can mean hypertonicity in some of the strap muscles. Either way, if the hyoid is shifted, shifted, if the hyoid is not moving properly, it will affect the way the digastric functions, which will affect opening of the mouth. Okay? So if you have an overactive digastric on the one side, when she opens, it'll pull the jaw laterally. That's not the only reason why the jaw will go laterally. Usually it's a capsular problem or a problem with the function of the lateral pterygoid, which we'll get into, but this is definitely something you have to, you have to look into. The anterior strap muscles um, are damaged in, in many cases of whiplash, so that's another reason why you would go in to try to assess these muscles. So just because the omohyoid doesn't really do much uh, in terms of insertion on the lower the scapula, it does really hinder the motion of the hyoid. Okay? But for our purposes right now, we simply want to feel that bundle in the lateral cervical triangle. So she lifts her neck up, and we see her clavicular head of the SCM. If we just go behind the clavicle, right in front of that clavicular, right behind that clavicle.